Hello, my name is Christian Duke. I live in Louisville, Kentucky. I support Senator Bernie Sanders, and I'm making this message from a hotel room in Pittsburgh. I'm asking you, Mr. Trump, to please consider instructing Republicans that vote for you and independents that support you in the primaries that are left for the Democratic Party to please vote for Senator Bernie Sanders. I know this sounds insane. I'm not asking anyone to vote for a candidate they don't believe in, but if they do believe that a vote for Bernie Sanders is a vote against the Democratic establishment, the very same establishment that you, Mr. Trump, were able to defeat on the Republican side, then I think it's a valid vote. You're out of the primaries. You are the presumptive, you are the nominee of the GOP. So the people that would normally have voted for you would still be able to vote for a candidate. Even if it's not the candidate of their choice, it would represent a tendency, the same tendency that you rode to become the nominee of the GOP. Listen, the superdelegates, they're crooks, they're political gangsters. We have people like Howard Dean, a once progressive turned healthcare lobbyist that is voting against 86.1% of Vermont Democrats. We have a senator like Al Franken in Minnesota who's voting against 61% of Democrats in his state. This is outrageous, outrageous, and these people will never change. Debbie Wasserman Schultz is not going to hit all of a sudden and have some sort of a conscience and realize that in the 18, 19 states, primaries and caucuses that we have won decisively, that superdelegates should vote with the people. Even if Senator Sanders mobilizes the delegates at the convention and we try to change the rules, we all know that's not going to happen. At least it won't happen unless we start winning more states. So please, Donald Trump, Mr. Trump, please consider, please consider instructing or at least suggesting that your supporters, independents and Republicans, consider voting for Senator Bernie Sanders in open primaries. Again, it's not fraud. We would be voting. We're all voting against an establishment. The Democratic one, the Republican one, it's the same thing. It's bureaucrats trying to tell the people what to do. And that is not American. If there is any fraud, that is the fraud. So again, I, I really hope that you will consider doing this. I do respect you. I do, I do feel you have a conscience, a very strong conscience, a very strong moral backbone. And while Bernie Sanders does get more votes percentage-wise, polls-wise, whatever, than Hillary Clinton, why on earth would you want to support a stronger candidate against you? It's because of that conscience that you have and that moral backbone that you have. I really believe that you want to take on the very best candidate because I really believe you really want to win the presidency. That's what you're all about. You don't want to beat some stooge like Hillary Clinton that's been propped up by bureaucrats, the Clinton Foundation, and a bunch of nepotism and lies. You want to go against the best and you want to win, and I believe you can. There's no reverse psychology here. I really believe you can win. And I also really believe that Bernie can win. And I believe Bernie represents the left like you represent the right. And I don't believe that these mainstream bureaucrats and party candidates, and it, it, it's just a bunch of crap. The establishment is a bunch of crap. So please, I really hope that this message gets to you. I hope that you consider doing it. I know that you've talked about Bernie Sanders running a third party, but Bernie Sanders does not want to do that. He wants to take on Hillary Clinton. He wants to defeat Hillary Clinton, and he wants to be the nominee in Philadelphia. And with your help, he can do it.